This video explains how to use context rulers to see if a certain statistic is good or bad. Context rulers are seen in the suburb analyzer. You need to select a property market first. I'm going to select Southern River. This is a suburb of Perth towards the southeast. You'll see a list of metrics appear and they're split into three tabs. Links to context rulers appear in a column to the right of every statistic. Context rulers answer the question, is this a good or bad value? They're especially important for metrics you're not familiar with. And there are plenty of novel metrics on the DSR Plus tab. Let's see the market cycle timing context ruler, which is right at the bottom of the DSR Plus tab. That's a lot of information, but each part is pretty simple. Relax, I'll go through every detail. The heading shows that this is a context ruler for Southern River houses. And specifically, it is the context ruler for the market cycle timing metric as at the end of August, 2022. The MCT for August 22 was 84. You can see that in the blue circular marker to the right of the ruler. Green means good on a context ruler and red means bad. You always want your metric to be towards the green end of the ruler. Amber or orange is neither good nor bad. And as you can see, the MCT for this market is very good since it is way over to the edge of the green section. By the way, for explanations of every statistic, visit the statistics page. You can find a link for that page on the services page. This market was placed in the first percentile out of 6,715 other markets that had an MCT calculated for August. That means if every suburb around the country was put in one of 100 buckets based on its MCT score, this market would be in the first bucket. The best suburbs for a statistic will always be in the first percentile, and the worst suburbs for a statistic will be in the 100th percentile. Looking over to the far left, you can see that some suburbs got an MCT score of zero. And on the far right, you can see that at least one market got a score of 87. But the average for the entire country was only 34. August 2022 was towards the end of a pretty good boom in property prices across Australia. So most of the country's suburbs had low MCT scores. The MCT score gets lower towards the end of a period of strong growth. The horizontal lines on top of the ruler that stretch out to the left and right of the average represent the range of one standard deviation away from average. This range shows where most of Australia's MCT scores lie. Below the ruler, you can see the national median MCT was 31. This is the middle score if you line up all suburbs in order according to their MCTs. And the quartile ranges are also shown. Q1 is the range of MCTs from the lowest of zero to about 19. 25% of Australia's property markets had an MCT for August between 0 and 19. The next 25% lie within the range from 19 to 31, and that's labelled Q2. The third quartile ranges from 31 to about 48. And the top 25% had an MCT of somewhere between 48 and and 87. The middle 50% of all markets are within Q2 and Q3. They had an MCT between 19 and 48. The benchmark is a score of 50. 
The benchmark is where the context ruler is amber in between green and red. So most of the country was below the benchmark MCT. Under the ruler, you can see some power bars. Since most of these bars are colored in, the overall summary is good. Note that it's possible for a suburb to have an MCT of 100. So although 87 is quite good, it is still less than perfect. Let's quickly look now at an example of a bad MCT towards the opposite end of the spectrum. Mollymook is down the south coast of New South Wales, past Nowra. Looking at the historical chart, we can clearly see that this is the end of Mollymook's latest growth surge. Prices have climbed by more than 60% in the last few years and have started to level out. This suburb should therefore have a very poor MCT. The MCT is on the DSR Plus tab. Let's see what it is. The MCT for Mollymook houses is only six. Let's take a look at the context ruler. Remember that red is bad and green is good. So this is not the right time to buy in Mollymook. We've missed the growth surge. Mollymook is in the 74th percentile. It's way below average, more than one standard deviation below average. And it's in the lowest quartile and has an overall summary of very poor. And that's how you read a context ruler. Use it to determine if a metric is good or bad. The context ruler compares the suburb you're looking at with all suburbs around the country. You'll find the context ruler invaluable when setting your search criteria in the market matcher. For more on that, look for a link to the market matcher on the services page.